Welcome to the MLS show. Me, Baz, Ped, Chris Page, Jack, still sporting the New York City coat here that he loves. Uh, Tell me more. Tell me more. So, about what? What do you want to know? I don't know, mate. Just be I want to apologise to any mic uh, headphone listeners out there <laughs> when Barry just slapped the microphone. What's a headphone listener? There's people with headphones in. Yeah, back to the football, back to the Major League Soccer show that we're about. Not about headphones, grease or any other reference that Ped will throw out. Um, I want to discuss refereeing. You actually give me a really good idea. We dis- we'll say that for another time. We discussed it last year. It hasn't got any better for me this year, the refereeing. Yes. Over the weekend, lots of... Dodgy incidents, mm, to say mm. the least, in terms of the, red cards, penalty shouts. It's had the lot. The, M- the MLS referees are not good. Let's be honest. They are poor, really, really poor. I mean, we, we talked about this last year. We said, let's bring in robot refs. I still stand by that. I still stand by robot refs. Even if they end up getting you know quite intelligent and end up taking the world over, I, I don't mind. I think for the time being, it's what we need. Uh, they're just really bad. I mean, we've seen some terrible decisions, penalties, red cards that are just never red cards. Was that the studs up one? Well, there was, a, there was I think there was what there's been like three over the last two weeks where people are sliding in, and they're instant reds, and the refs are not giving themselves time to have a think about it. It's just bump, 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 you're off, and it's let you know. Uh, listen, we are trying to champion this league as much as we can, and you see things like that, and it just turns people off. You know, it, it, it's so annoying, the standards, and we've seen the penalties. And Could you oh. not say the same about the Premier League? Though? You could, but that's a different show, so just focus on this. Oh, but it's a, it's a thing across it's, football, isn't it? Mm. Refereeing's not great across across football. What the difference with your fine with Premier League referees is, though, they tend to give themselves a minute to think about it, or they'll, they'll talk to the assistants, or they buy themselves time. What you find in Major League Soccer is, the minute the incident happens, they can't wait to get the card up. They don't look at it. They don't. They just see. You like they like card bonuses. That, like, it's I like think that. they are. They just. It's straight. I mean, we talk about the sport and KC one last night against Toronto. Yeah. Ped, talk us through it. Forget the three and zero. We'll talk about that. Three and zero, mate. Three and zero. I mean, was that a red card for you? Well, I, before we talk about the red card, I mean, the goal itself, the goal Brad itself Davis's goal, a was a foul. It was yeah. a foul. Let's be honest, it was a foul. Uh, as the commentator said, eighty-seven times though. Don't ever let him cut in on his left foot. No. He must have said it. 87, 87 times, times. but it was definitely a foul, and then the red card, it's, you know, it's never a red card, he's gone in for a, he's gone in for a tackle, it's a yellow card, yes, it's a foul, yes, it's not a red card, and it, it doesn't give him, any, but what makes it worse is, and I'm looking through the comments on the Twitter feed, is people are starting to believe that's a red card now, mm. because they've seen it every single week, the player himself just walked off, because he's probably thought, well, what's the point in arguing, you're seeing these decisions every week, and... That's the standard. So everyone, so the next time it happens, everyone's up in arms. We've seen this in the Premier League ten years ago. Fouls were not 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 fouls. Suddenly become yellow cards, and then we get we get immune to it. And then every time we see a foul, oh, it's a yellow card. And then we start asking for red cards for nothing. It's a slippery slope, and it's already in MLS. Is, is that right? A question f- for you two then, because you know you've watched a lot more MLS than me. Like, um, is that is the <coughs> is the standard the same? Are the are the yellow card and red card and all the same type of challenges, or are the referees who are pl- saying well, that's a red card and then there's other refs going that's not even a foul? Because if it's across the board. I can kind of understand it. Mm. If they're the rules for the league, I you know think, what I mean? One of the rules for MLS is if you go through through the man but you get the ball, that's a foul on a yeah. yellow card. Mm. That's a rule that's different but, to us. Yeah, but isn't that's it? fine. And that's you're right. If that's the if that's the consistent Is it across though? The, I don't think it is. I mean, they they seem to be he kinda left the floor, didn't he, last night? He got the he got the ball, the sporting kid. Espinosa was it? it? Was Espinosa. He, he left the floor to make the tackle, but he gets the ball. Now, if they're going to say every time you leave the floor, you're not in control, so it's a red card, fair enough, then you'd have to stay on your feet. But I just thought it, he was a bit late. It, well, yeah, it was a yeah, damn it could even do. I think it was a yellow card, but you will see. There was one in um, Orlando game the other week, and it was, it was just a tackle, and you're like, that's not a red card. And he's yeah. straight off, and then he levelled it up. Uh, Higita, it was. Oh, no, sorry, Darwin Seren. Goes in and they're like, people are going, no, he, you could see the elbow coming up. And it wasn't, it was a block. He just went into him and it, the referee can't wait to get the card out. But you'll see that in the next game and it's nothing. And this is where they've got to, they've got to get that consistency. Well, they need to nip it in the bud now, don't they? But, but they, they, they were doing it last season and this is what, like yeah, I think, say, um, you, you, you shouldn't it. have a consistency over a league, though. You should have consistency over football. 
one of the things that winds me up is when you go, well, that's a European foul, and that's a Premier League foul. We get it here all the time. But it don't happens, we? doesn't it? It's, it shouldn't. It shouldn't, it shouldn't though. I think it's. I think we're paving the way you now for uh, definitely in uh, in MLS for replays now. Well, that's now, just I, I think that's that the up. definite. I think um, we said this last year. MLS need to get above, you know, in front of the curve. And well, they should do. They've got the they've got well, the technology and everything. Well, it's, it's the trial and it in USL. One of the big things that gets said about football around the world is it's not even in MLS. You've got pretty much even even keel. Everyone's you know it's a it's a league controlled by the league. You know in, in everything. So the league should come out and go right. This is what we're going to do. Uh, you know you're starting to see managers getting mic'd up and all this. Leave that. Who, who's asked about mic refs being uh, managers? Ref the mics up for the start. Let's let's Mike the mic the ref. But yeah, we knew what you meant. But yeah, Ma carry on. Mike the ref. Ref the mic. Anyone? Whatever. Anyone called Mike? You can ref tonight. <laughs> yeah. All the referees. Yeah. Um, you know, get them and let's get let's start getting decisions. Um, action replays. American audience. We've said this before. American audience are used to it. Yeah. So get let's get it done. And they, look, they'll find another way to shoe on an advert in there, so yeah. MLS gets more money. This Brilliant. action replay is sponsored by Burger King. Let me ask. Get you that up. quick. <laughs> Let me ask you about the challenge the system then. If video technology is coming in, are you for or against the challenge system? I, I, I look. I'm a massive NFL fan. I've been for years and years yeah. now. Like I love the challenge system. I think it's brilliant. I think it works in other sports as well. I think it works really well in tennis and stuff like that. So for me, I like the challenge system. I don't want it in the Premier League, but I quite like to see how it goes in Why football. Why would you want it in the Premier League? Because right, I, I want to see. I want to see it work somewhere else okay. first. And then bring it to what I love mm. more than anything. It's a bit snobby, but you know. No, yeah. no, I mean, MLS no, are trial, USL are trying it, I believe, and MLS are uh, thinking about trialing it in some tournaments that aren't. So people have told me today on Twitter. The problem with so all of that stuff is, the problem see. with all that stuff is, they always get it wrong first time, mm. and mm. then they have to tinker around with the rules and stuff. Yeah. And that's probably why I don't want to see it in the Premier League. Let them get it right yeah. somewhere else, but and I, then bring it over. I always here. look at the goal line technology in the Premier League. For years, it was that was in, and there was arguments and everything. Now, it is the bar comes down the line, gets cleared. Because the game carries on. No, You don't ever go on about it. You don't go, that was a goal we scored because it's gone. It's been done. Oh, the ref hasn't buzzed. It's been done. And, you know, you see, the, the Philadelphia Union last night against the New England Revolution, the penalty, the first penalty especially, where the lad knocks it through the player's legs and just runs into the back of him and the referee awards a penalty. Now, it was 2-0 at the time and um, Shuttleworth ended up saving it anyway, but... It was a pathetic penalty. Mm. It was a ridiculous one. Now, if you've got a challenge system in place, i seen that replay about four or five seconds after it happened. So if you've got the fourth official there, bing, on that, that's not a penalty. He's ran into him. The referee's got it in his ear. The only argument, the argument went on for about a minute with the players. But the thing you is, the, the ball, he's, he's, in that instance, he struck the ball wide at the post anyway. So the ball's out of play. Mm. You, the, the, the fourth official could go... No, so no penalty. There you go. Yeah. It you wouldn't even need a challenge in that like, system, no, would you? It would be wouldn't done. even need a challenge. Well, then, the one I'm talking about, the ball is still in play. Yeah. Oh, was That's the second penalty ah. when it's gone wide. But it, it, they cleared it anyway, and it, all that for all with the people around the referee, they can look at it immediately. If the ball gets cleared to the halfway line, and he's seen the replay, he just gets in the referee's ear, he blows the whistle, and point. If, if you've got a challenge system, the, I'm talking. The thing about MLS is, is it craves attention. You know, whereas it's all star game, it's craving attention. Having replays or you know a man in the stand would would be a massive leap forward. No one else has dared do it yet, and if MLS yeah. did it, it'd be a massive thing. And and the other thing is, they could trial it for a season, and if it never worked or it, you can get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, look at something like a sport like Formula One. They brought in something at the weekend. It never worked. This qualifying system. It was gone by the by the end of the qualifying. Literally, it was gone. They got rid of it. Well, that, yeah, that's what you that. that's what you can do, Maybe especially. Never. They did. They didn't. I watched it in Formula One. They got rid of it. They didn't. They did. It's gone now. It's gone. They voted they it used out. it the whole way through. No, now, it, now it's gone. Now they got rid of it. Don't argue with me. This is my show. You said in the middle of qualifying they got rid of it. They never. As I was saying, anyway, <laughs> I think for me personally, I think it's, it's, it's come to the time now where, where it's the way forward to start introducing it. If that be a challenge system where you get three each in a game, so, but I don't think you'd have much chance of it. And like you say, you can trial it. If it doesn't work or it makes the game too disjointed, mm -hmm. get rid of it. But it's a way of getting MLS loads more coverage and making it, you know, the leader, like a market leader in it. And other people hopefully will follow. Mm -hmm. But I think the more decisions you see, like them at the weekend, the red cards and that, you're trying to, you surely you want to be playing 11 v 11. You want to keep 11 men on the pitch because 
you know what? Uh, football could learn a lot from um, rugby union referees, mate. Yeah. I don't know if any of you watch rugby union, but the, the respect that the players show those refs, yeah, and yeah. actually it's something that you said before, it's, yeah. they might the refs up yeah. in that, and mm. everybody in the stands can hear, what can the, hear what's, what's going on, yeah. and it just keeps you informed, and then you don't, you're not second-guessing in the stands, you're not screaming at a referee because you don't know what he's done and stuff like that, and the, and the way that the players respect those refs is incredible, and it's something that somehow we need to translate that into That football. might be the first step, because if you think about it, if a decision's made and you hear the, you hear the referee say to the assistant linesman, or the assistant referee said, what's just gone on there? And you hear it in the stand, and he goes, you know, because they'd have to, everything would have to be keep be kept really tight, the language and what they say. Yeah, it was a pen, he pulled them. No, it wasn't yeah. a pen. And you hear it, you go, okay. That's why he's given yeah. it. That's why he's given it. you can't see it half the time anyway. Now, you know, you don't even know, at the moment in the Premier League, or Motor Leagues, you don't even know where to get the three minutes from That's on the thing. clock and things like that. We're all left in a mystery. And how long they're playing with the three minutes, you know? Is it four minutes? It's at least four minutes. Everything. It's almost shrouded in mystery and it shouldn't be. It should be very clear. what's not mysterious? Who's sponsoring the uh, added time in the MLS? Tag air. I mean, there you go. They've shoe-owned another advert in there. No problem. Hey, if it brings the money in, it brings the money in. It's you got it. You need the big bucks to get the likes of Tim Howard in. Exactly. That's another video again. <coughs> Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Is it time to move to video technology? Do you like the challenge system or just think that's a rubbish idea? Don't forget to let us know below. Check out our other videos. We've discussed Tim Howard over on the Ball Street channel. Have a look at that one. It's great. We've also discussed... Chris getting is yeah. Chris losing to Orlando City. Not Chris personally, but New York City. Have a look at that one too. Don't forget to subscribe as we've now gone above the 2,000 mark, which is great. Follow us on Twitter at the MLS Show. Check us out on Facebook. Make sure you like it on Facebook. Anything else you want them to do, boss? <laughs> I want them to do loads. Snapchat, Instagram. Send me and Ped loads of t-shirts or scarves. We absolutely love it. We'll catch you next time on the MLS Show.